Hey, I'm Loverboy. I'm Leah Sykes. Uh, we have a song coming out. Oh, I guess it's already out because you're seeing this video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called All My Friends Are Sad. I know we don't look sad right now. Um, we are very sad inside. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess the whole story behind All My Friends Are Sad, uh, I was writing uh, a lot during quarantine. Um, and I was skateboarding a lot during quarantine. <laughs> And uh, during that time, I fell and broke my collarbone. And I was so mad at myself. I got like pretty depressed and I'm like, oh man, like I can't believe I did that. Like you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then later that week, um, my sister's friend, and I don't think I even told my sister this, so I should probably tell her before I like talk about it on, <laughs> on film. But um, so my sister's friend uh, took his own life and I was already in a weird space, which how us songwriters usually are, mm -hmm. which is always like in our emotions and in our feelings. But um, I was already in my in my feels and that happened. And I was seeing this girl at the time and uh, she was on the phone with a friend of hers. And she just goes, she looks at me and goes, all my friends are sad. And I was like, I gotta go. Yeah. And I like ran upstairs <laughs> to her, her studio. And I'm like, what? And I started writing it and I wrote the first verse and I, I think I wrote like probably five different verse melodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wrote the first verse in the chorus and then I had to write with Leah the next day. And I didn't finish that song that day and I was like, okay, so I have all these ideas for Leah, but I'm like, how sick would it be if we wrote the rest of it together and she sang on it because she's amazing. <laughs> and that's what we did. So, yeah. um, yeah, so I showed up and I was like, hey, so I have these ideas, but what about this? Mm -hmm. I remember you played me so many different things and because your melodies were insane, they were all insane. <laughs> and then the very last one you played was that first verse in the chorus for All My Friends Are Sad. And yeah. I was like, this is the one. Yeah. And I feel like it hit me really hard because obviously, inarguably, it's been one of the craziest years totally. for everybody, you know, in the world. And for me at the beginning of, you know, the pandemic, mm. I didn't write for like three or four months yeah. and I just took that time off and it was, um, hard, but also really important for me because I feel like I connected a lot more to, you know, the things I was feeling inside and how everything totally. that was happening around me was affecting me and really resonated and sat on that for a minute. And, um, some of my best friends, uh, Jordy, who's also an artist, we would talk almost every night about our anxiety and our depression and the things mm. that we were doing for that. And so when you showed me that song, all of that kind of hit me and I was like, Oh, can I relate to this? Yeah. This I remember you bringing so it up today. You're like, I was fun. literally, you're like, I was literally talking about that with Jordy yesterday yep. Yep. because you're talking about how like you miss like your family and like you mm -hmm. miss like hanging out with your sisters and like your friends and, and she was moving. Yeah. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was moving to Los Angeles mm -hmm. and you were like, I just like feel I overwhelmingly feel so, sad. Yeah. And like so connected with the song right now. I was like, yeah. cool, let's write it. Yeah. It was um, perfectly it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was amazing. And like, I remember cutting the vocals for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember Garrett going, damn, I thought Jordan sounded good on this. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Leah, you could do one more if you want. But like, I think that's oh the thing. It was just so like all of the energy that we needed for that song, we yeah. had it all right in front of us that day. Yeah, like there totally. was nothing missing in that moment. And like, that's why I feel like this song is fully as it should be, because I feel like in that room when we were creating it, everything was as it should be. Yeah. I also loved being able to connect back and like talk about childhood memories and things like that. Oh, like yeah. the time machine line and the blankets and the pillows, like that is quite legitimately what me and my siblings would do as kids. We called it the grounded machine yeah. where <laughs> whenever we got grounded, I grew up with five, there were five kids in my family and we only had two bedrooms or two bedrooms for the kids rather. So when we got grounded, we all went to the same room right? and we would make the grounded machine with pillows and blankets. And it was a time machine that took us back in time. And we would like act out all these different time periods and like being able to think back on those memories that I hadn't thought about since I was so small yeah. was honestly really healing for me. And also in a way made me even more sad. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's really strange because that's something like going through like all like we, we obviously posted a bunch of, of videos mm -hmm. um, of like us as kids and like um, the music video, which you will see after this this video comes out. But we do have a music video coming out. 
with a bunch of our like childhood like like videos, I guess yeah. like VHS videos. Um, and I remember my mom was like sending me some like she was filming them with her phone. Like, mm -hmm. do you want this photo or do you want this tape to be sent to you? And I was like, yeah. And there was one in particular that like I could hear my dad's voice on. Mm -hmm. And my dad passed away in 2009, and like that was the first time I heard his voice since then because like yeah. I see so many pictures of him and like yeah I've like watched home movies obviously but like hearing your dad's voice like literally screaming Jordan yeah Jordan I'm like oh man and I, rem I remember like being in the studio that, that day and I was like oh man that screwed me up yeah but like it was like a beautiful like like it wasn't even like a sad like it was like a different sadness it was like mm -hmm. oh man like I miss him but like that was like such a great time yeah and like it brought you like right back there and I think that's what this song does which Absolutely. is why I love it yeah and yeah. I think everybody can find a way to kind of connect to it. Yeah. Because I think everybody has, you know, a little piece of that somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her her verse is my favorite though. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you, Thread, um, for letting us do this. This is great. Um, Virginia, I love you. And um, if you don't know Leah, this is Leah. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Lover Boy. Uh, See you guys soon. All of my friends are sad. All of the fun is gone. We're all pretending that we're fine. But all we want.